Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. The Earth is suffering a crisis of mass extinction. And the results will be catastrophic. Right now, we're facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years. Climate change. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. Climate change has quickly become one of the most pressing and complex global issues of our time. It is a manufactured problem that has the potential to cause profound impacts on the environment, society, and the economy. By far, the biggest air pollutant and main contributor to climate change is the use of combustion engines, most specifically cars. Combustion engines are responsible for about 27% of the total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. Putting this in perspective, each vehicle creates 5 to 9 tons of greenhouse gas every year. That's over twice the weight of the average car. This information is important because CO2 is a major contributor to the breaking down of the ozone layer, resulting in global warming. Many may think that the only way to prevent vehicles from deteriorating the ozone layer is to just stop driving, but there are many better solutions. These methods include electric cars, carbon neutral fuel production plants, and alternative fuel sources such as biofuel. Although, many ethical issues are represented regarding driving a combustion car. If you know that cars emit toxic chemicals, why do we still use them? If they are one of the leading causes of warmer temperatures and smog, why are more and more people purchasing them? It poses the idea that humans would rather prefer comfort over the well-being of our environment. Just from electricity generation, over 31% of carbon dioxide emissions are created. We are poisoning ourselves, and it's only getting worse. The world's people have spoken. Their message is clear. Time is running out. Land pollution also poses a serious risk to our environment. Land pollution also causes soil erosion, which is caused by harmful agricultural practices such as overusing soil, toxic chemicals, and introducing invasive species. Globally, soil erosion has increased about 25 times. With the impacts of climate change, more artificial items are being used to produce a large crop yield. Since the 1930s, the number of farms has been slowly declining and the need for synthetic pesticides and fertilizers has increased. With these toxic chemicals, lower income households start to become directly affected and more vulnerable to its adverse effects such as cancer and respiratory problems. It raises the question of whether we should keep using these chemicals and pesticides to produce a larger harvest, even though it harms the environment and humans. At the rate of this rapidly developing climate change, usable farmland will start to diminish, posing a serious threat to the environment and us.
With harmful land pollution, it will eventually seep its way into our oceans. Billions of pounds of trash and other pollutants enter the ocean each year. The majority of these pollutants come from human activities along the coastlines and far inland. Rain and snowmelt can carry these harmful chemicals into larger waterways. Coming from many different sources such as cattle farms, vehicles, sewage treatment plants, and cities, this form of pollution unfortunately has immense negative effects on the environment which in terms can negatively affect us as well. Although, it can become difficult for people to fully understand the challenges and problems that are presented regarding ocean pollution because they don't directly see it or experience it. Microplastics, which are found in the environment as a result of the disposal of consumer goods and industrial waste, are incredibly minute bits of plastic. These plastics pose a serious threat to aquatic life because fish and other marine animals often mistake them for food and consume them. These plastics can also enter our bloodstream through the consumption of seafood. Addressing ethical and moral challenges requires everyone, the entire globe essentially, to contribute and acknowledge that climate change is a serious problem. Everyone needs to understand the concept to save nature and the living organisms that reside within it. Everyone truly needs to do their part in order to help mitigate the effects of global warming, increase greenhouse gases, and the release of toxic chemical emissions. We are the ones who are going to make a difference, but it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to be difficult and a time-consuming process, but will benefit the overall health of our planet and the human race.